It's time for us to have a look at that age old question we ask ourselves from time to time. How do I destroy my enemies when I'm at sea? There are many ways, of course, and the Tudors have perfected many complex, creative and gruesome ways of destruction. But we are going to have a look at something nice and simple. This is round shot, a.k.a. the cannonball. And this particular one is made of cast iron, the popular choice of Elizabethan mariners. Other materials included stone and lead, but cast iron was faster and cheaper to produce. And as English ships started sailing across the world with aggressive expansion in mind, faster and cheaper became a priority. Casting iron simply means melting iron until it becomes hot enough to be a liquid, pouring it into a mould or cast of your desired shape where it cools back down into a solid again. This technique dates back to at least the 5th century BCE China, where it was used to create kitchenware, farming equipment and weaponry. It wasn't until two millennia later in the 1450s that the cast iron cannonball came into being. It was designed by a French artillery engineer by the name of Samuel J. Besch and was initially used to destroy the fortifying walls of English castles with great success. By the early 1500s, it had been adopted by the English Navy and by the time Francis Drake circumnavigated the globe in the 1570s, cast iron shot was ubiquitous around the world, both at sea and on land. Drake eventually discovered that he needed to fire from very close range to do any serious damage to his opponent's ship, close enough to see the whites of their eyes, in fact. Not very technical, but certainly a very useful guide. At close range, even a ball as small as this can do lots of damage. Primarily, cannonballs are fast, with a starting speed of anywhere between 100 and 250 meters per second. It can just as easily pass through the side of a ship and several barrels as straight through a dozen men. Even if it misses you, the wind blast at close range is powerful enough to cause you concussion or internal injuries. Secondary damage was caused by the splintering of wood as the shot passed through the side of a ship. Large, sharp and fast, these splinters could easily achieve the damage of a sword or dagger blade, with smaller splinters digging into your body, causing hard to reach internal bleeding or blood poisoning. Lastly, there was the hot shot. Heat the ball until it's red hot, and when you fire at your enemy, aim for the gun deck with its explosive supplies of gunpowder. Alternatively, of course, you can aim for the rigging. Setting your opponent's sails alight is also a good strategic move. Well, that should be sufficient information for you next time you're in a tricky situation at sea. Please do subscribe for more videos, and if you have any comments, questions, or interesting related facts, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you very much.